This video is going to be about number one, how to get really high conversion rates of five to eight percent on your dropshipping store and also how to get the people who buy from your store to buy a lot. So you actually get more money out of each single client. Now, first of all, I have bad news for you. Having high conversion rates is not going to be only making an amazing looking store because in the end of the day, that's actually the least important part of all of this. To make a good looking store is not going to be the thing which gets you high conversion rates, which might shock you because sometimes you're going to test the product, you're going to have great cost per clicks, you're going to think I have a lot of add to carts, but so for some reason I just don't get sales. My product page needs to improvement. My product page is the issue because my conversion rate is the only thing which sucks. That's not reality. And I would love this to be reality because it's so easy to just improve your store and have high conversion rates, but it's not as easy as that. The reason why people buy is number one, they want the product. They actually are interested in the product themselves. And if you think back to all the purchases you've ever did, most of them you didn't do from a perfect looking store. Even in a real life store, you're going to buy if, just because you like it's the, the product itself and not because you like the storefront or you like something else. This is something to understand. And number two is also the conversion rate will be made with the ads and with the targeting. If you get tons of people on your store who are just not qualified to buy your product, your conversion rate is going to drop instantly. Obviously, if you get the wrong people to your store, nobody's going to buy. So to actually get those super high conversion rates of literally five to eight percent, which me and my students consistently are actually getting, is basically a combination of having a really good product, showing it to the right people, and then having a really good and compelling offer, which is perfect right now. So those three things are the most important. On top of that, then after all of those three things are handled, now we can talk about the design of the store. Now we can talk about the color of the logo, the color of the picture all of those things are like important but not really they just need to be over a certain baseline as long as the store doesn't look like it's literally just gonna steal your money you're good you don't need more than that you just need to that person to actually trust that you're gonna send the product which you're promising that's it and then only after all of those things are done then you can think about all the designing things now I'm gonna give you a couple of guidelines on how to make a good-looking store but again this is not gonna be the priority here. let's talk about the offer itself then we're going to talk about a couple of design elements and then also I'm going to give you a lot of really important tricks on how to get people to buy a shit ton of items on your store. So the offer ideally has to have something special about it and it definitely need to look like you're over delivering. If you, for example, have a product which looks really high quality and you sell it for a cheap price, the offer is great. But here you need to understand that the reason why this looks good is just because of your product selection. You selected a product which has a high perceived value, so it looks high quality and looks really, really expensive. However, it's actually cheap to buy from your supplier. This is product selection. So the product selection here is going to make the offer amazing. The offer itself, obviously you can improve a bunch of things by offering like free things, free gifts, free shipping, buy one, get one free, buy one, get two free, buy four, get five free, whatever it is, you can actually make really compelling offers, especially for the people who want to buy multiple. So for example, you can have a pack of five items, pack of five pieces of the same product, or you could say buy two pieces and get three for free. So much better. Like people are gonna buy that so many more times just because they have three items for free, price is literally gonna be the same, doesn't matter. However, people are gonna think that's a good offer. Now you most likely think that to get people to buy more from your store, you need to have a perfect upselling funnel, which is true, but not reality. In reality, there's three things which are way more important than the upselling itself, which is number one, product selection. You need to select a product where it makes sense to have an upsell. If you sell a spoon, it makes sense to buy a set of spoons. If you sell a microwave, it doesn't make sense to buy two microwaves, right? And this is a very basic example, obviously not dropshipping products, but it doesn't matter. Product selection is gonna make upsells. If you sell something where it just makes sense to buy multiple, people are gonna buy multiple. Number two is the videos. So the ads actually are super important on getting people to buy more pieces because you need to first select a product where it makes sense to buy multiple and then in the ad show how good this product is if you buy multiple. For example, if you're gonna sell some kind of water gun, obviously you need to make sure that you show a bunch of kids at the same time using a bunch of water guns having a lot of fun. And all of them need to look like they're having a blast and instantly everybody's seeing, all right, it opens my mind to buying multiple of this. Now I don't want one. I know that my kid is not gonna have fun if I only buy it for him. I need to buy it for him and 
all his friends, whatever it is. And now you have a product which has upsell potential, it makes sense to buy multiple, you show that, and then you show that again on the product page. So on the product page, you will show how a bunch of people, again, two kids are playing with water guns, not one. You show multiple things at the same time. And now you actually have this buy one, get one free thing. Or if you buy two, you're gonna get three for free. And basically now you have the perfect combination of everything. Now you can actually think, what is gonna be my post-purchase upsell? How much am I, am I gonna charge for my, my pre-purchase upsell? What do I wanna upsell? Do I wanna sell the same exact product again? Do I wanna sell another product? What do I want to do here? But that is the last part. The first part is the three core components of having a high average order value, which is again, not done in the upselling, but previously. And this is just gonna be a theme which is gonna go, th go throughout all dropshipping. You will always have problems which are solvable by doing product research. If you're, for example, selling some product and you have no clue who to target and you're like, fuck, my targeting is not gonna be on point. I, I don't know who to sell it to. You didn't select the right product. You should select a product which is easy to target to people, as an example. Or if you say, yeah, I selected this product, but it's so tough to make creatives for this. I have no clue how to make creatives for this. Select a product where it's gonna be easy to make good creatives. My point is, you can take out a lot of problems out of your business by selecting a really good product. And if you wanna truly know what the criteria are for a perfect 10 out of 10 product, you can click the link below and sign up for a free call with me personally. And if you actually sound like you are a good fit for my program, I'm gonna get you enrolled into my program. And here you're gonna learn everything about how to do product research, how to make a really good store, how to make really good ads, how to do all the upselling properly, how to scale all of this, and generally how to run the entire business. If you're truly serious about all of this, and we are selective about this, if I see you just wanna get rich quick and that's the only intention here and you don't expect you to actually put in the work as well, I'm simply not gonna let you in the program. However, if you do understand that it is gonna be hard work and you need to overcome a bunch of problems to actually make it work and still you're interested in the program, then click the link below and I talk to you there.